Hi guys, I'm Oleg Shilovitsky, CEO and co-founder of OpenBOM. At OpenBOM, we help engineers at manufacturing companies to stop using spreadsheets to manage product data, bill of materials, calculate cost, and manage purchasing process. Let's be honest, spreadsheets is a terrible idea to manage bill of materials. For the last few years, OpenBOM helped thousands of engineers and manufacturing companies to stop using spreadsheets and to move to OpenBOM to manage data. So I will give you a few examples how OpenBOM helped those companies. You can go on the website and read all customer stories and read examples and testimonials of customers and customers' reviews. But just few examples today. For one company that was using uh, both mechanical CAD and PCB design tool, we helped to create multidisciplinary bill of materials, open BOM CAD integrations, generated BOM from Fusion 360 CAD and from Autodesk Eagle, combined it together and organized multidisciplinary bill of materials. We had another company which stuck with a huge amount of data in Autodesk Fusion. 1.2 gigabytes of data, they've been looking how to count parts create bill of materials and calculate cost. Without OpenBOM, this product would be going nowhere. We have a company that we help to create multi-level bill of materials from cloud CAD system on shape, help them to organize inventory control and generate bill of materials. We have state-of-the-art SolidWorks integration that helped hundreds of engineers and manufacturing companies to create bill of materials directly from SOLIDWORKS, extract all specific nuances of SOLIDWORKS data, and organize bill of materials for projects that don't have a top-level assembly in SOLIDWORKS, help them to calculate cost and organize quantities and purchase orders. We helped company that doesn't do anything with CAD system, but they design data centers. So this company created an entire component library of everything they use for data center creation. And then they use OpenBOM to create a particular data centers and communicate and share data with contractors and suppliers. So all these examples, those are just few examples to show you how OpenBOM can help you to manage data in a more efficient way. So all this possible is because OpenBOM created a unique platform for manufacturing. We developed a unique data management platform that is tailored for managing product structure, bill of materials, and focused on the work with engineers and manufacturing companies. You can think about this as a Google spreadsheet with a huge amount of engineering and manufacturing software steroids. It most importantly, it's open and integrated with all CAD systems. So you can register to open BOM in a matter of minutes. It runs in a browser from the cloud storage and cloud servers, and you will be up and running just in five minutes. So let's talk about change. You use spreadsheets today. You know it's not good, but you're afraid of change. Spreadsheets are messy, but you kind of live with this problem. So each time you try to change, you think about all problems that changes can bring you and you continue to use Excel. So OpenBOM can help you to make this change. So how we do it? We give you three fundamental things that can help you to mo make a move and make a change. So first of all, OpenBOM provide a transparent, risk-free subscription model. So you go to our website you can create monthly subscription just by registering. We publish prices. You know what you subscribe for. It's a risk-free monthly subscription. You start with one month. You don't like it. You stop it. No multi-year commitments like you need to do for many PLM systems. So second, you can import data from any Excel. Data migrations, it's actually hard. So you have tons of data in Excel and you need to bring it to a new system. By itself, it's a project. So OpenBOM makes it easy for you. Any Excel system you have, OpenBOM import out of the box. Last but not least is integration with CAD systems. CAD is a foundation of all design. All information is starting in a CAD. So we provide out-of-the-box integrations 
with many CAD systems and we integrate with all systems. So bring CAD system to us and it will give you integration to OpenBOM. And you can go on our website and you can see how many integrations out of the box we have with all popular CAD systems. So these three things will help you to make a move. So don't be afraid to start. This is actually much easier than you think. Now, let me tell you why Excel doesn't work. You don't need to feel guilty. I know you try it. You try to do it in Excel, but it doesn't work because it's not your fault, actually. Excel cannot do two fundamental things about bill of materials. And let me explain you about these two things. First of all, Excel doesn't know how to manage references of part information. So think about you have a screw part. It has manufacturer, supplier, cost, description. So you want to ensure that this screw information is in all bill of materials. But when you create different bill of materials, you need to copy this information in Excel. So you create copy. Open, open bomb can reference this data between different bill of materials. Excel cannot. So you copy this data, you introduce mistakes. It's not good. So the second thing that Excel doesn't know how to do and spreadsheets don't know how to do is to manage hierarchical information. Look, by nature, product information, product structure is hierarchical and you need to manage relationships and dependencies. Excel cannot do it. So you kind of can do multi-level structure by indentation of levels in Excel. But to be honest, this is the flat spreadsheet. So when you click on a particular item, you don't have a query to say where this item is used. So Excel cannot do it. OpenBOM can do these two things. Manage part data and reference and manage product structure. So OpenBOM solves two fundamental problems to managing bill of materials and product structure that Excel cannot. OpenBOM gives you a unique combination of tools that we developed to help you to manage product structure and bill of materials. So first of all, it starts from the simple UI. You know, OpenBOM looks and feel like Excel, but it's not because it's a simple UI and behind there is a powerful cloud infrastructure and database systems. So OpenBOM connects you to all clouds, to all CAD systems. It is online application available in your browser and how I like to say you stay on the same BOM because OpenBOM available from browser can be used by any member of your team, any contractor or supplier. So you always have access to bill of materials. You don't need to send the email and look for the last email with the last attachment for bill of materials. You just share data naturally, how you do it in many online systems these days. OpenBOM has streamlined user experience, helping you to navigate between different pieces of information. OpenBOM creates a structured database and centralized part information management. Everything is about the changes. So changes are a vital part of design and product development and OpenBOM provide out of the box system that helps you to capture all changes, manage revisions and organize change requests. OpenBOM is also a visual system. You know, one picture attached to bill of materials can save you from more mistakes. So OpenBOM allows you to attach image previews and automatically generate those image previews for all data in OpenBOM bill of materials and part catalogs. Last but not least, we think about the process. So OpenBOM supports out of the box design to purchasing process, helping you to manage catalogs, organize bill of materials, create planning BOM, calculate quantity gaps, and then helping you to generate purchase orders. Check our help system for process information and you will see how OpenBOM organized the streamlined process. So now let's talk about PLM. You're probably asking, there are PLM systems that can do it. Actually, I've been for the last 20 years in PLM world working for few CAD companies developing PLM systems. I've been working for Autodesk and I've been working for the SOS systems and I took part in many PLM development. So PLM systems are tailored and built for large companies. They are too complex and too inefficient. And most important, old PLM systems are built for a single company. So what does it mean? It is a database that runs for single company. 
it's stored data for the company. Now, what happens if you have two companies working together? You have two databases. So you need to extract data from one system and put it in another PLM system. So you have two PLM systems with no single version of truth. So OpenBOM is different because OpenBOM is developed for new networked world. So we uh, took the foundation as a network and we assume that the companies will be using OpenBOM together. So if you want to compare PLM architectures with OpenBOM architectures, contact me directly. I would be happy to talk to you and I would be happy to explain you what's the difference between traditional PLM architecture and open BOM architecture. So unlike many big PLM projects, it's not big bang change that you need to do and do you start using a new system. Open BOM can be used and advanced by stages. So you can start small and you can progress step by step. So first of all, with open BOM, after you register, take a piece of Excel import to open BOM. You will see how it works. Then you can install OpenBOM add-in for CAD, you can extract data from CAD and also you will see how it works. It will allow you to go step by step and that's much easier than trying to just boil the ocean of all changes for your company. So I'm sure you think about OpenBOM and you think, hmm, it's probably good, but what are possible concerns? So let me address some of them. This is a very frequently asked questions that many uh, customers are asking us before starting with OpenBOM. So first of all, everyone is concerned about data. Is data safe? So OpenBOM runs on top of Amazon Web Service infrastructure. It's very secured infrastructure that allows us to manage and scale our system globally. Besides that, OpenBOM data is encrypted on servers. Nobody can access this data. So if you think that somebody will be accessing your data, the chances to access your data in OpenBOM is by somebody else is much less than somebody accessing your desktop or somebody accessing your server in a company. So another thing that you might be concerned about is how to get your data out of OpenBOM because you don't want to be locked in the system and many systems are using bad practices of locking data. So OpenBOM doesn't do it. You have out-of-the-box export system that can help you to export data from OpenBOM and put it in Excel, CSV, or PDF file. You might be asking, will it work with the my version of CAD system? Some of you are not running latest CAD systems. So I have a very good news for you. OpenBOM supports all CAD systems, some of them out-of-the-box. Most of the popular version and releases of CAD systems are supported. If you have one that is not supported, contact us and we will provide support for your CAD system. Last but not least, you subscribe to OpenBOM, you're probably asking a question, how you can stop the subscription. It's very easy. OpenBOM subscriptions are risk-free. No multi-year commitment, no uh, bulk prices. So you can stop your subscription at any moment of time. It's monthly subscription. So how you can start with OpenBOM? So to start with OpenBOM, think about catalog that uh, you organize data about your parts. So you can start small. You probably have Excel with this catalog data in your company. So find this Excel or multiple Excels. You can bring them to OpenBOM. You can import it to OpenBOM. And that will be your starting point. So then create a simple bomb and hence see how you can use parts from this catalog to create this bomb. So that will be your starting point. It's a very small step, but it's very easy to do. Then read reviews. You can read reviews of all people using OpenBOM today. It's publicly available and you will find it. OpenBOM is very useful and most importantly, time saving. You will save time using OpenBOM comparing to Excel. So let me address another question that you might have. What will happen if you will stay with Excel? Why you cannot stay with Excel? Let me be blunt. You just cannot afford staying with Excel because Excel introduced many mistakes. Either by copying data or sending raw data in emails, you will have mistakes. Mistakes will lead to delays and delays is additional cost. 
so you cannot afford staying in Excel. Staying in Excel. Another reason not to stay in Excel is these days as we live through these unfortunate pandemic situations. So many companies are looking how to change suppliers and contractors because they have uh, troubles with their supply chain. And many other companies are looking how actually to increase their production capacities. So by organizing data in OpenBOM, you will allow to yourself to have a centralized storage of all information about what product you develop and manufacture. So if you need to switch from one contractor to another contractor, you will be able to do it in OpenBOM just by clicking on a button. So it's easy and it will de-risk your supply chain management significantly by having this ability to centralize and manage data and share it with everyone. So as we all engineers, you're always asking questions, how, how open is, OpenBOM is built? So OpenBOM built on something that called multi-tenant data management platform. It organizes all data and organize access to this data based on your user access and organizational structure. So you can be user, you can be team, you can be company. So based on this information, you have any access to this data. But we also uh, can provide instant data share. Remember story about two PLM databases in OpenBOM. This is a single platform with the multi-tenant data. We can easily allow access to anybody to the data based, of course, on your permission. So OpenBOM runs on top of databases that can scale globally. And we use sophisticated graph and network technologies to manage links and semantics of data because manufacturing and engineering data, it's highly structured and manage these relationships and dependencies very important. So all together is a unique uh, technology that OpenBOM developed to manage engineering and manufacturing data. So let me speak about what benefits you will have if you will move tomorrow to OpenBOM. First of all, you will have a single source of truth. I know many companies speaking about single source of truth, but in OpenBOM, we will allow you to manage all this information between your company your contractor suppliers data will be shared and interconnected. This is a distributed single source of truth. You will have early visibility on BOM, cost and manufacturing planning because OpenBOM will allow you to create bill of materials directly from design. You will not need to spend time on this. It will be created automatically. So you will have this data planning up front. So you will have bill of materials created up front with all information. You will streamline purchase orders and RFQs because you will have this information and you will be able to share it very efficiently with your contractors and suppliers. So the sharing of data will be real time. So your contractors will not be looking for the last email with this spreadsheet attachment. It will be real time data share. So it eliminate tons of mistakes and will improve processes in your organization. So what is your next action if you think to go to OpenBOM and try it tomorrow? It's very simple. You navigate to OpenBOM website. You register to OpenBOM, you create account, you purchase monthly subscription, or you contact us and we will give you OpenBOM trial. So you will be able to experience OpenBOM tomorrow and see how OpenBOM can help you. So you've been listening to my presentation. It's quite long and I really appreciate you spending time with me. So for those who stayed until the end, I have a bonus for you. So if you register on OpenBOM tomorrow and contact me directly at oleg at openbomb.com, we will give you a special two hours training and help you to uh, get up to speed with OpenBOM in a matter of these hours. So we will support you and we look forward to see you at OpenBOM. Thank you very much for listening and see you soon.